Here is a piece of DNA. Only one of the two strands of DNA is transcribed. This is called the template strand. The strand that is not transcribed is called the coding strand. This is the promoter region where the enzyme RNA polymerase is able to bind. More specifically, it contains a tata box consisting of a sequence of nucleotides that allow RNA polymerase to bind. RNA polymerase binds to the promoter region and begins to unzip the DNA at its starting point. Here is a more detailed vision of what DNA looks like as RNA polymerase approaches the start point of transcription. Looking more closely, as RNA polymerase unzips the DNA, it forms a transcription bubble. RNA polymerase reads the transcribing strand from 3' to 5', prime, but transcribes newly made RNA from 5' prime to 3'. Prime. In RNA, adenine is complementary to uracil rather than thymine. As RNA polymerase moves forward, mRNA is transcribed and DNA is continuously reannealed. As elongation continues to occur, RNA polymerase eventually reaches a termination sequence at which point mRNA and RNA polymerase is released from the DNA. mRNA transcription is complete for prokaryotes, but for eukaryotes, a 5' cap is added to the beginning of the 5' section of the mRNA and a poly-A tail is added at the end of the 3' section by the enzyme poly-A polymerase. These modifications allow for ribosomal recognition and protection in the cytoplasm. The mRNA still contains introns, which are non-coding regions or more easily put as useless regions of the mRNA, while the axons are the regions that contain useful coding information. Splicesomes remove introns and axons are joined together. The introns remain in the nucleus and are degraded or dissolved. The mature mRNA leaves the nucleus and is ready for translation.